Hi, so it's me again. After some time, I thought about a new video idea. I think it was done already by some popular YouTuber, but I don't remember what he chose for the characters. So I just decided to also not think too much in front of the video about it, but in the video of what the characters of my f most favorite TV series of all time would wear as a fragrance. And I'm, of course, talking about Game of Thrones. So um, there are just two series that I watched in my whole life, in a, uh, completed in my whole life, and that is uh, Breaking Bad. Also very, very nice, but not in the same league. It's just not, it's also fantastic, but not unbeatable, uh, not beatable by, um, uh, it's not, uh, it gets beaten by Game of Thrones for me. So besides the eighth season that most people didn't like, me included, uh, but we're not, we will not get into that now. Uh, it is just a journey. It is fantastic. I also want to read the books at some point. I already started once, but I it didn't work out. It was just... It's not the easiest books to read, and I I figured out, no, not, not for now. But I will read it, and I will also lo read Lord of the Rings at some point in time. But, yeah, let's see. So, let's think about, about the characters, what they would wear. So, my personal favorite character, not because she is acting very nicely in the series, but in my eyes, she's acting... Uh, uh, she's doing things that I understand. She wants her family to be on top and she does everything for that, which also means murder and commanding murders. And that is Cersei Lannister, uh, also acted by the fra fantastic Lena Headey. Um, so she was basically always my favorite character. Every time she was on screen, it was just lit. It was like so much um, passion behind it, so much hatred also in her words and stuff. It was just, man, you wouldn't mess with that woman. So I think she definitely has nothing to prove. She doesn't need a fragrance that makes her smell overly sexy or something uh, as she's intoxicating anyway. So I would probably give her um, the classic Chloe one because it has like a rather strict tone to it and and an already like dem it's a demanding scent and it would increase the respect for her even more so coming next to her brother Jamie Lannister uh, I feel like he's like a golden boy he's um obviously very rich one of the Lannisters and I feel like he would um wear something sexy and expensive. So I think he would probably wear... I see Amouage Reflection Man on, on him, actually, because I think that would work pretty well. Yeah, I think it would underline his character pretty well. So coming to the next Lannister, maybe... Maybe Tywin Lannister. Ooh. Ty Tywin Lannister probably would wear something like Anteos. Something very, very classic. Something very old school. Maybe also... Hmm. What, 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 what could he wear? I don't think, I don't think Kuros would, would fit. I think it would be Anteos or the classic green Paco Rabanne, maybe. I think that would fit pretty well. Or the classic Armani U Opo Om, maybe. So coming to the last very relevant Lannister. I'm sorry. Um, uh, Tyrion Lannister. Phew, that's a difficult one. I think he would have some something, something a little bit uh, boozy smelling. So... I think about as he always loves to have company of beautiful women. I think he would wear a Noir de Noir by Tom Ford, as he's also not the poorest person. 
and yeah i think he would wear noir de noir as it has has a very very boozy chocolatey rosy sexy scent to it i think that would work pretty well okay now moving on to the house of um, let's move on let's move on to the house of of the stocks so um Ned Stark the father of the family um the chief he would probably actually I don't see him wear any fragrance I think he would be like even hmm difficult as he is uh, at the beginning of the series, like the King of the North, um, he will probably not stink, but I think he would have no fragrance. I think he, he wouldn't wear anything like that. Um, his wife, however, what is her name again? Oh no, Catelyn Stark. I think she would wear something, something rather something rather not too offensive as her husband also wouldn't smell too offensive either so maybe maybe some um ooh good question maybe maybe some maybe some Yves Saint Laurent libre maybe yeah so um Rob Stark he would he would totally wear something very sexy seductive maybe also something catchy maybe Dior Sauvage or maybe maybe even Creed Aventus as he uh, at the beginning of the series is characterized a little bit as the show off in a sympathetic way sympathetic way and um yeah i think that would fit well i think sansa would definitely wear la vie belle or 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 jean paul gautier scandal probably Arya would wear nothing she's too young and bran also too young and john snow Jon Snow. Whew. I feel like he would try to imitate Rob Stark as he also wants to be a Stark. So he would probably go with something something some probably the same as as Rob Stark. Maybe not that expensive. So maybe he would go for for Cyrus the writer that your Sauvage clone I don't know so yeah what else which should I hmm which houses could I also think about sad there's no pause button on this phone mm. so yeah, let's let's make this one the first chapter of what Game of Thrones characters would wear. Um, oh no, wait. Let's talk about um, also some Baratheon characters, like um, Stannis Baratheon. Definitely something super dominant. Um, I think he would probably wear. I think he would. Ooh, crazy different, uh, crazy difficult. Mm. He would also wear something like Anteos, I think, or the the green Paco Rabanne one. No need to be overly sexy, more like the manliness in the in the in the in the, in the foreground. And his um, brother, who's the king at the beginning, what is his name again? the the father of Joffrey um, come on 
I don't know, he definitely wouldn't uh, wouldn't um, wear anything and he would probably always smell like uh, urine, why, uh, women and food, I think, and beer. <laughs> and finally, maybe the hound. The hound would definitely also just smell awful, I think, like really never washing himself probably. Um, which, which would make him even more scary than he already is. And the same goes out for, for his, for his brother, uh, the mountain, uh, yeah, Sir Gregor Klegan. No need to be overly washed up, a warrior in his, in its own. So, yeah. So I hope you liked this one. It was just a funny one, I think. And I hope see you in the next. Have a nice evening or, or day. Bye.